Hi. I don't know what to say to you, but I've been saying salam alaikum, but... Uh... I'm actually sweating already, it's very humid here. Sorry, no, no, uh, no Thai. So weird, the drinks here are so different. Guys, I need some help with the, the drinks here. And one of these, I think I'm going to two. Okay, one of them. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> wow, that was savvy. I think sushi is my favorite all time food. Wow. Incredible. Okay. Let's go. 10 minutes is maybe 5 kilometers. Should have been 60 or 70 bar. Okay. Watch, watch out your pockets. I don't eat chicken, but do you just say shrimp? Welcome to the video. In this one, I've arrived in Thailand. Look, there's a Thailand flag over there. And this is Bangkok. I'm in Bangkok right now. This is my hotel room. I actually was in a nicer room before that looked out, had a beautiful view, but they've moved me into this room because I, I made two bookings or whatever. So yeah, we're going to go out and explore. I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. I'm going to show you guys the bed, the bathroom. There's the shower, it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. And I think this cost me about 850, the uh, Thai bat. Yeah, I'll I'll find out exactly how much it costs. But yeah, not a bad price for a nice room in a nice hotel. So first action of today, we're gonna go and get a SIM card, and we're gonna go to the bank and withdraw some money, and then we're gonna go and get some foods. I've actually not been outside yet. I was here yesterday, but I was editing one of the videos from from Pakistan so yeah if you're new to this channel then go check out my Pakistan series if you're uh, if you've been watching my Pakistan uh, videos then thanks for sticking around and watching uh, one of my Thailand videos and I hope you guys will enjoy this little trip that we're going to go on the hotel is called the quarter yeah This is the hallway. Actually, I was staying in a room that looked like this. Looks like somebody's just checked out of here. So I'm gonna show you quickly. This was the view from my room before, which is great. And they moved me into that terrible little dingy room. Yeah. I mean, it's not terrible, but. Okay, so this is the, the hallway and I'll show you the foyer. And what else? Yeah, so we'll get in the lift and I'll show you. This is in the elevator. No. Oh, 12. Yes. No, don't stop. Why is the door open? Okay. Nice. Yeah, pretty good price for this place. I mean, that's crazy. Like the prices here are very much less than they are in uh, in Pakistan, it's like $25 for a basic hotel. So yeah, this is the reception. Hi. Should I pay? So yeah, this is the reception area in the hotel. They have a swimming pool out here, which is very beautiful. Yeah, and it's, uh, this is the, hotel I guess where they have breakfast in the morning I slept in this morning because I'm so tired from uh, from the the drive so yeah but this is uh, this is the restaurant maybe I'll try breakfast in the morning but yeah I've not been out to the swimming pool yet but it looks nice interesting thing when I arrived hi I don't know what to say to you, but I've been saying salam alaikum, but uh, it's not really a Muslim country, so yeah, I'm gonna plan what I'm gonna do. All right, we're going to take a 13 minute walk along to Siam Commercial Bank. First off, I've used this app called Remitly. I think you guys will know when I was in Pakistan, I lost my bank card, so I can't take cash out of the I was just looking in the mirror there and it was making the camera screen look funny. I thought everything was off. Anyway, I can't use my, I 
can use my bank uh, card. I, I lost it when I was in uh, when I was in Murray in Pakistan, just about an hour's drive from Islamabad. So I'm having to use an app called Remitly, where I can transfer money from my UK bank account to my uh, to a bank here. So Siam Commercial Bank is one of the banks that you can send to. So we're going to take a walk along the road and uh, get some cash. This will be uh, one of my <coughs> this uh, this will be one of my first times coming out of the of the hotel. I don't even know how to say hello to people. I need to learn some some phrases in Thai. So we will do that. But yeah, first things first. Let's find the bank. So we go here, and we take a right in this direction. They have a lot of scooters here, I've noticed. And then these little uh, things for riding in. No, thank you, not just now. Scotland. Opa. No, thank you, no, thank you. Falling over. Yeah, so this is Bangkok. Super hot today. And we've got a little river down here. Looks like they're building something along there, like a little promenade on these sides of the river but driving from the airport to uh, to the hotel I was so tired because it was such a long uh, a long ride so I didn't really get to I didn't really get to film I just kind of was exhausted but one of the things I've noticed about Bangkok already is it's very very developed it's got like big high rises the streets are all very structured the transport was very busy people were driving kind of fancy cars here so yeah i wasn't expecting it to be such a like a developed uh city if i'm if i'm honest but crazy asia is just uh blowing up uh with uh you know very well developed uh cities and, Ta and bangkok is one of them so, yeah, we're gonna try and find the bank, and then I'll uh, I'll show you guys. It looks like this is some sort of transport system, MRT. I need to try going on the on the subway while I'm here. What else do we have? Little hotel here. Yeah, the hotel I'm staying in, pretty nice. I think I could get cheaper, but I wanted to make sure I had enough data. Uh, or good Wi-Fi, good enough Wi-Fi to upload some footage to the cloud. So yeah, got a little coffee shop over here. Nice plants. Yeah. And then I guess that's the exit to the metro there as well. Bangkok Centre Hotel. So that's another big hotel there. I will come back and get some uh, some local food soon. But uh, gotta get uh, gotta get some cash first before doing that. Hi. But these look amazing. Ooh. Yeah, I can't wait to taste some of the food here. I also think they have quite a lot of uh, a lot of seafood here in uh, Thailand, which is good because that's one of the things I was missing when I was in when I was in Pakistan. I was wish wishing that I could have some more uh, fish because that's the only meat that I eat. So let's check. They've got like a big overpass as well over there. The roads, I've just noticed when I was, uh, when I was on the way here, it's crazy the number, the roads as well. They've got all these overpasses and underpasses. It's like great infrastructure in Bangkok. Super impressive. Let's see where Siam Commercial Bank is. Should be coming up very very soon yeah look just uh, at those overpasses in that tunnel there you can see uh, the development of the city pretty impressive you guys I was gonna say you guys won't believe this but you probably will believe this I suddenly just realized at the end of that clip that I forgot my passport and I needed to get cash out so yeah I'll see you guys back where uh, where we were, but I just thought I'd show you how much of an idiot I can be. 
All right, we're back in the street after getting my uh, passport. This is the bus stations. Tells you all the times of when the buses are gonna be here. I don't know what this is, but it looks like some sort of official building with the Thailand flag outside. We're looking for a commercial bank, Sian Commercial Bank. It should be coming up soon. Where is it? Is that it? No. That's a bank. I'll take a look. Yeah, it's a few hundred meters further down the road, maybe a hundred. I'm actually sweating already. It's very humid here in, uh, in Bangkok. It's a bit of a culture shock when you come to, uh, to a new place trying to acclimatize, learn a little bit of the language, taste some of the food. So, yeah, just trying to get used to being in a new culture and in a new place after after being in uh, Pakistan for so long. Also, do strangers greet one another here? Look at this little uh, little bike. Who knows? I don't know. Do strangers greet one another in Thailand? If there's anyone from Thailand watching uh, the videos, please tell me how should I. Uh, how should I greet people? Should I greet people on the street? Strangers that I don't know? Is this a universal thing? Who knows? They've just had elections here, so I guess I'm seeing a few election posters on, on the walls, which is interesting. They have like big billboards. Look at these sky rise buildings. Very tall. And they have a lot of uh, a lot of motorbikes here, mopeds, more than motorbikes. People drive around on these little scooters, which is different from Pakistan. They drive around on motorbikes in Pakistan, small ones, but here they have like Hondas. Yeah, these are motorbikes, I think, but they're that's a scooter. Some cakes. Hello. Hello. We are very close to the bank. I don't know what this building is. I guess that's a hotel as well. I also need to get a SIM card and uh, the guy at the reception desk in the hotel told me that I can get a SIM card from 7-Eleven, so I'll go there. Everyone's setting up their stalls for food. Right now it is... 2.32 in the afternoon so yeah should be around lunchtime should be coming up for lunchtime now I'm looking for the bank and then I'm going to have some food as well this place actually looks quite good this is the bank Siam Commercial Bank oh this street food looks amazing and it smells amazing too all right I will check in with you guys once I have uh, got my money Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. So we've learned something new. In Thailand, people still wear masks, are required to wear masks in public spaces. And also, I see a lot of people still wearing masks out on the street. Yeah. That is something new for me, but I got my money. So I got 20,000 high bat. This is another bus station. 20,000 Thai bat. And um, now the next task of the day is to find a SIM card. I believe I can get them from 7-Eleven. It's one across the street. I think I'll have to cross over this, uh, hello. I think I'll have to cross over this bridge here. But um, so far, so far so good. I cannot wait to get some food because I'm getting quite hungry. It's a nice little vantage point though that we can see from here, the street. It was over in that direction. And then we can see going in that direction. Yeah. And 7-Eleven is just down here. 
feel good that I've got some cash in my pocket. So that's step one. I also lost my uh, wallet when I was in Murray. So I might try to get another wallet to put this cash into. Hi. Can I, uh, do you have a SIM card for the phone? I'm vlogging by the way, so. <laughs> Do you have a SIM card for the phone? I need to... Uh, SIM. Yeah, SIM. Which one is the best? Passport. Huh? Uh, passport. Passport. Yes, I have my passport. How much does it cost? Sorry. No, no, uh, no Thai. <laughs> no, I'm kid. You speak Sorry. English? <laughs> 150, 150, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. And this one, and how many, I how much data? Five, oh, this is five gigabyte. And so this is 149, so 300, 300 in total, yeah? Yeah. Oh, um, happy tourist sim. Which is better, this better or this better? This good or this good? I think I take this one. Yeah? And it's got. Because it says 5 megabytes. Sorry. This one is just. I need, uh, I need 5. Yeah, this is, this is 5 oh, and this is only 4. So, okay. Let's take this one. Yeah. Thank you. This is 100, 200. It's okay? Interestingly, this is uh, this is the currency. So this is uh, one thousand here. This is one thousand, and then you get. Uh, I asked them to give me a couple of extra. So this is uh, one hundred, and then this one is five hundred. Hello. Uh, it's okay. Gonna go and see what juices they have. Hello. I've noticed that uh, they don't have they don't have Red Bull here. I bought this Red Bull the other night, which is probably good because it's bad for me. But I bought this Red Bull and it tastes like medicine, which is quite strange. I wasn't expecting that. It's totally different from the Red Bull that you get from uh, in the UK. I'm looking for like an energy drink here, like a taurine with taurine in it, but it doesn't seem to be the same type of energy drinks that you get in the UK or in, uh, or in Pakistan, which is strange. Like where's the relentless and the monster drinks? Yeah, I don't know what to do. Volt, zinc. So weird, the drinks here are so different. Look, the drinks here are so different. They're like, I think this is ginseng. Also, I don't understand the language, so it's so, so confusing. There's uh, coffee drinks here, so I might just have a Nescafe drink, but I might as well go to, I might as well go to Starbucks if I'm gonna have that. Uh, yeah, and then they have like, these ones look like cough syrup. Coffee Boss, Espresso, what is this one? Collagen, Amazon, Espresso. Guys, I need some help with the, the drinks here. Which one is like an energy drink? Cause, yeah, anyway, I don't know. Also the, the crisps, crisps are different here. It's like Parmesan cheese. They have this, I guess this is like Lay's that they have in the UK. They have Pringles. I recognize that brand and they have Lay's. But yeah, there's many different types of crisp here in Thailand. What is this? Seaweed. Ah, it's crisp made of seaweed. Interesting. No more crisp buying just now. 
Maybe I'll get an ice cream because it's so hot. Okay, I'm gonna get a little popsicle. Huh? Of me? Oh, you need a photo of me. Okay. Okay. I think I will take. Should I go here? Oh. I'm just gonna steal a little bike they have outside. Maybe I won't have this. This has got like little balls inside, so it doesn't feel very sturdy. I think I'll have something else instead. This one. This one sounds, looks, seems good. I don't know what the flavor will be like. I've got my, uh, got my passport back. Oh, sorry. I was going to buy this as well. Okay, I will go there. So this is a 20 baht note. Interesting. Oh, I bought it. Tastes kind of weird. You have it? Oh, where? It's on that side. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get my salmon side. Bread. Mm. It's just the here. Are you help? You're helping me. Thank you. I think it just goes in, uh, yeah. I'm not sure about this ice cream, guys. Kind of weird flavor on the outside. Inside is good, but this green thing on the outside is a bit strange. It's okay, just, yeah, I, should, I think put it there, yeah. Thank you so much. It's okay, just, uh, just I know. <laughs> Just put it, uh, just put it here, and then, uh, and then this one can go here. This one can go here. Okay. Oh, thank you. I will keep. I will keep this. Thank you so much. See you later. People here. It's just different culture. People here are. Uh, very friendly, but a bit more reserved. Hello. <laughs> a bit more reserved. In Pakistan, where I just came from, when you when you like meet people, they'll like be very, very excited to meet you and want to like shake your hand. I think it's because Pakistan doesn't get as many tourists, but here in a place like uh, Bangkok, people see tourists all the time, so they're kind of tired of us uh, us people coming. Uh, at least it's not such a novelty. Okay, so got our SIM card. Next stop, food. All right, I have been doing some research. Look at these, look at these apartment blocks though. It's crazy. I've been doing some research and I found a food market. It's around a 40 minute walk away. So I'm going to stop the video in this area. I think this area is, uh, this street is called, what is this street called? Uh, Rama 4th Road. Yeah. So I'm on Rama 4th Road right now. Seems pretty central kind of business type district. Got more high rises over there. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here and then uh, restart when I get to a different area called Near Central World, near the Police General Hospital. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. We have like street food over here. Hello. How are you? Hello. You make omelette? Omelette. Okay. I'm going to look around, thank you so much. This is probably where people stop and get their... Uh, hello. 
What are these? Eggs? Eggs. Of, ah, okay. Thank you. This is probably where people stop and get their food after being in the office. Some fruits here. Hello. Do you mind if I record your food? What is this? Right. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to learn a few phrases to help me get by here because nobody understands anything I'm saying. Which is interesting actually. I, I thought there would be more English here in Thailand given that there's so many tourists. These uh these bikes I need to I need to get a shot in one of these VIP uh, bikes that take you around town. Kinda of reminds me of the chinties that you get in in Pakistan. Hello. Yeah, it kinda of reminds me of the chinchis in Pakistan. And then you have uh I guess this is a big mall in here. Wow. It's so hot out today and I really, maybe I could take a motorbike actually, but I'm really enjoying exploring the city by foot and uh, seeing the sights, smelling the food. I feel there's uh, something amazing about when you get to a new city, just trying to get your bearings by walking around. So yeah. Hello. So yeah, they have these overpasses here as well. A lot of the, over all of the roads, rather than people crossing over the roads through, uh, through green lights and red lights. They have those too, but I've seen a lot of these and you can see them all the way down the street. So it makes things a lot safer for people, which is good. But yeah, you definitely see a lot of people walking around with the, the face coverings on still uh, after the pandemic. I guess it was a big thing in, in Asia already before the pandemic because they had the SARS uh, uh, virus. Hello. Yeah, so they had the SARS virus here and a lot of people already were wearing masks in the public underground. But you don't see anyone wearing a mask in uh, Pakistan. And very, very rarely when you go back to uh, European countries, I think people have uh, ditched the mask. But here in Asia, people are still wearing the masks. Oh look, they also have uh, tunnels that go underneath the road. And I guess it pops up there. So they've got overpasses and underpasses here for the, the roads. Very interesting. Haven't seen that uh, many places. You do see it on the big highways in some places that you go, but uh, it's just like a normal street in the middle of the road or the middle of the city, so yeah. Hi guys, so I've just been chilling in this cafe Amazon for the last few hours, uh, messaging people on my Instagram and responding to comments and that type of thing. So it's a little bit later than the last clip and uh, we're still around the same area, uh, but I'm gonna head to Chinatown now. I haven't eaten anything, I just had a coffee. So it's time to get something to eat. So this, uh, now that I've got my, now that I've got my SIM card, and now that I've got my money, I'm gonna go and try, I'm gonna try, I tried to get a, there's the app that you need to get to download here. I found out it's called Grab. Grab is the equivalent of like Uber here, but, yeah, I tried to book book one. Didn't really work, so I might try to hop into one of these these things. These little cabs that take a few few people. But we're gonna go to Chinatown for food. That is the plan. Because I hear Chinatown is the best place to, to go and have food, especially in the evenings. It's less hot now than it was earlier, so, so yeah. Very interesting when you come to a new place and you start realizing that they do things slightly differently. Got a guy over there directing the traffic with uh, what looks like a flashing light. I can't get in though. No? Oh, okay, okay. 
not sure uh, which of these are taxis and which ones aren't. It's very confusing. I don't really want to wait for a grab car to get through the traffic. It's like a two kilometer walk back this way to get to the to get to Chinatown. So the other thing noticing is like these wires along here, wires along there. A lot more wires here, I guess it's telecommunications lines, electricity, that type of thing. They look like they're in slightly better uh, order, more uh, less, less jumbled all over the place than the ones that I was seeing when I was in, in Pakistan. Uh, but still, you don't see as many, as many telecommunications wires and uh, I guess these are electricity or just telecommunications. You don't see as many when you're in, say, the UK uh, as, you're, as I'm seeing on this street. So yeah, that's a bit of a difference. This is the same brand of coffee shop that I've just been sitting in uh, back there, maybe a few blocks. We have more like, uh, I guess this is Thai food here. Thai food's very different here than, uh, yeah, everyone eats with chopsticks in Thailand. But yeah, um, I guess the Amazon must be uh, quite a popular brand of coffee shop. Here, who knows? But yeah, I haven't seen that many. I saw a Starbucks, I think, as well. This is quite a cute little street. Ooh, I'm gonna just walk, take a walk down this street. It's like plates. Looks like they do noodles. Then we have, uh, yeah, lots of little pop-up shops. They're selling clothes, these guys. And then there's some restaurants, things on this side. Mm. Yeah, selling clothes out here. You'll find, uh, having just been in a in a Muslim country, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a shift, seeing the clothes that the women wear and the fact that you know. I saw a female taxi driver pick me up from the airport, so that was uh, very different. You wouldn't see that in uh, Pakistan. We've got all these stalls for food. Oh, sorry. Hello. Oh, dumplings. Hi. Hello. Hi. Can I, uh, can I try some? Do you speak any English? Any English? Yeah. Okay. Um, can I try like four? Can I just pick them, yeah? Um, wait. Okay, ooh. Yeah, crab. You choose, you choose. Wait, two, two crab and then, uh, and then I will have... Oh, can I get some of this one? One? Two, two. <laughs> and then... What is your favorite? What's the best? The best one, maybe... A good one, a good one. Which, which one? Yeah? <laughs> salmon. You have salmon. This one. How much? How much? How much? How much? This one. How much? Okay. Let's go for it. And then I think I will have this okay. one as well. And one of these. I think I'm going to two. Okay. One of them. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's it. How much? One hundred. One hundred. Okay. Oh, you give me one for free? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you have wasabi? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. I will just sit here. Thank you, thank you. I just put my bag down onto the top. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind.
Yeah. And what do you call quality yeah. premium? Yeah. Is that the name? Okay. Huh? This one here. Okay. Go. Thank you. Right. See you later. Let's see what else they have around here. Hello. How are you? What is this? Lychee? I don't know. Huh? Okay. Oh, lychee. I think this is lychee. I will have one. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Actually, you have smaller? Thank you, yes, great. Okay, what are we doing here? We're just... Okay, we fill that up. So this is light juice. I don't know how much this costs. 40? Or 35? I think it's... I think it's 40. Oh, that looks so good. They just gave me some, so hopefully it's here. You have change? Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Put this in here. I think it's 40. But we will see. We will see what change I get. I'm not sure what change I'm going to get, but... Thank you, thank you. Thank you. See you, see you. All right. I'm going to try some of this sushi. Oh my God, I'm so delighted. I've been waiting for seafood for such a long time. I love Pakistan, but Pakistan doesn't have very much meat, so it's difficult. Let's put the change away. Okay. Let's try. Sushi. I think my favorite food in the world is, uh, is sushi, so. so it's pretty good. I'm gonna sit over here and try it. So first off, let's try this lychee juice. Ooh. Oh, it's good. And it's not even too sweet. Tastes kind of fresh. I don't think they put extra sugar in here. It's just probably just water. I don't know, maybe they have. But these lychees, oh, let's try one of them. So good. It's been a while since I've tried a lychee. Oh. oh man. Wow. Love it. Okay, I'll save that. Let's have the sushi. Let's try this sushi. I am so excited about eating sushi again. I've had sushi a couple of times when I was in Pakistan, but I didn't really uh I didn't I don't know, I mean it was good, but it wasn't, you know, that's not the delicacy of uh, Pakistan. So this time we're gonna taste this delicious Thai food right here in Thailand. Although I know that sushi is uh, Japanese, so I'm not sure, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're using Japanese recipes. And then we get some wasabi. Put a little bit of the wasabi all over. I love this stuff. I like spicy food and I also like wasabi. It just gives everything an extra, extra little kick when you eat it. Let's get a bit on there, a bit on there. I should probably be putting this inside a soya sauce, but let's just go hardcore. I'll put, I've got some soya sauce over here, so I'll put some of that on as well. On top of the on top of the soya, on top of the wasabi even. Mm. It's quite nice uh, sitting here with the live music as well. Yeah. Yum 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 yum. All right. Let's try, let's try. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's try this once and for, for good. Oh my 
but this is the salmon one. <laughs> wow, that wasabi, so strong. Oh, I feel like this wasabi here is even stronger than the wasabi that I've ever tried back at home. Oh, it just hits the back of your nose like crazy. Let's try this one. This is like uh, little fish eggs. disrespect to any of the other countries that I've uh, I've visited but so far wow the fish is just delicious and it tastes so fresh let me try some of this crab oh this crab one looks amazing see it in there oh my god oh. all the fish is just so delicious and then the spices that they put all over everything Wow. I thought I was only going to taste like two or three of these, but I'm going to eat all of these. I'm starving. Wow. I think I've tried everything for you guys. I'm going to try this one. I don't know what kind of fish this is though. It's a different kind of fish. It's not the, not the salmon. We're all finished, throw my food into the into the trash, eat the sushi, very delicious. What's this? What is this? There's so much good food here. Wow. Oh. Hello. What are these? Like insects. Ooh, worms. Hello. <laughs> what are these? You speak English? No? Okay. Wow. Incredible. Thank you, thank you. See you later. Crazy. Could you guys let me know in the comments what uh, what some of these insects are? Yeah. Nice little food market there. I wasn't expecting to happen across that. Some of the street food in Bangkok is amazing. Wow. It's getting dark here. I'm going to continue my journey to, uh, to Chinatown. We've got more food stalls over in this uh, side of the street. People come out of their houses. Now it's, man, it was so hot earlier. So it was difficult to walk around. So you'll probably be getting quite a lot of uh, nighttime content from me. Of food. Ooh, looks so good. Some bananas being sold. It's like a little a coffee shop. It's exciting. Guys, so exciting being in a new uh, a new city, exploring. I'm so lucky that I get to do stuff like this. And I'm so lucky I get to uh, take you guys away. Can I, uh, can I ride? Yeah. Uh, can you take me to Chinatown? Chinatown? Yeah. Okay. How much? Uh, 400 baht. 400? Yeah. It's expensive? Four, uh, little bar, happy camp, happy camp. 300? Okay. Let's go. I don't know if that is expensive. Ooh, but I negotiated. This is us in one of these little uh, little rides. This is so cool. I don't know whether they will invite other people to uh, to come and join me in my uh, my ride, but yeah, it's a lot easier to to do this than than walk, I guess like a little noodle place over here. There's all these restaurants along this street that we're on. What is this netting thing? Interesting. Spiders went. Yeah. And more restaurants on this side of the street. There's a taxi. Exciting. Going on another adventure. I've been messaging you guys about 
States doing a uh, branding for uh, some merchandise so I've got a idea for a logo that I'm going to use for the brand and I'm going to start producing some uh, hoodies and t-shirts and that type of thing so yeah this is what I was thinking up here let me know what you guys uh, what, what you guys think let's continue our ride I'm not sure what's what's it called excuse me hello hello what is the name of this tuk tuk or is this a tuk tuk what is it I don't know you don't the, the this tax is it taxi you call this taxi tuk tuk taxi rickshaw I don't no. know okay okay no problem no problem I will find out the name of this contraption but it's nice it's very big there's plenty of space for uh, more than one person in here yeah I like the transportation systems in uh, different countries. They always have their slight idiosyncrasies. I guess this is Chinatown Gate. But why is it so quiet? Is this Chinatown Gate? There's uh, definitely a Chinatown Gate here. But yeah, it looks nice. Ooh. Look at all the lights of Chinatown coming up. This is great. Wow, this is so exciting. My first time here in Thailand. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. 50. 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's... Okay. Guys, I don't know, is uh, 350? I don't even know what that price is. Maybe like $10. Just charge me $10 to come uh, maybe like five minutes so yeah I think I got a bad deal bad deal but he's uh, working hard so why not anyway this is Chinatown check it out got these uh, guys this one's kind of empty uh, like open on the sides but yeah I can't wait to taste some of the food pomegranate juice hi hello can I have one of these? How much? Five. It's more like it's five. 350. Crazy. <laughs> 50. Oh, I was like, oh, what's five? I was like, that would be great. Do you know, hey, somebody just, the taxi driver just took me from, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes and it cost me 350. Uh, should it? It should have. 10 minutes is maybe 5 kilometers. Should have been 60 or 70 bar. 60 or 70, okay. Make sure they turn on the meter. Okay. If they don't, just get out, get another one. Get, turn on the meter. It was, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was when, it was, in, it was in one of these open ones. Uh, uh, talk to No, no that, that should be really cheap. Really? Yeah. Okay. Watch, watch out for your pockets as pickpockets. Really? Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, watch out for this guy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate the help. Uh, there you go. There's 50 back. Thank you so much. Five. Fifty baht. No five. No. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Okay. Pomegranate juice. Fresh pomegranate juice. Delicious. Sounded like that guy was Australian. This is so good, this is so good. So this should have been very cheap, like what, 50? Less than, uh... yeah, I think he charged me way too much. But that's life. Not like in Pakistan where people try and give me uh, tuk-tuk rates for free. Sorry guys, I'm just comparing Thailand to uh, Pakistan because it was my last, uh, my last destination here. All right, we're gonna try one more thing in this video, and then I'm gonna end the video, and maybe I'll do another one here on uh, in Chinatown. I'm gonna try some dumplings. Oh, uh, shrimp. Or shrimp. One side, one Okay. Okay. So much seafood here. Look at this incredible uh, city. Amazing. Can't wait.
wait to taste this tasty shrimp. Yeah. I don't know about the street food. Uh, I don't know about the street food here in uh, in Bangkok, but it looks pretty fresh and clean. Look at this one, octopus. Is this uh, calamari? I'm not sure. Hello, how are you? Definitely. 75 you said, yeah? Got the guys checking on the quality of the food. How much is this? There you go. Thank you so much. Alright, let's try this. These guys are checking uh, the certification of the health and safety. Alright, let's get it done. It's hot. It's hot. I'm gonna wait till it cools down a little bit. Oh, I've given it a few seconds now. Let's try it. Oh, it's nice and colder now. Mmm, it's got salad inside. It's got salad inside as well. I hope there's no meat in here though. Hello? Oh, hi. Is this meat? Is this chicken? Yes, no, no. But is there chicken inside also? Chicken and shrimp. Oh, but I don't eat chicken and I thought it was just shrimp. But it doesn't say chicken there. I don't eat chicken, but do you just say shrimp? You know what I mean? The menu, the menu doesn't say... The menu just says shrimp. It doesn't say chicken. Yeah, I know, but uh, it has fish. Uh, sorry, it has chicken. Yes? Chicken. Okay, does this have any chicken? Because uh, this is... Is this chicken? Yeah, it's chicken with shrimp. Sorry, sorry. I don't eat chicken. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Shukriya, shukriya. Okay, thank you. So, And I'm sorry. Alright, that didn't go well. Just uh, if you're ever going to eat some some shrimp here and you don't want chicken in it, ask them whether they serve it with chicken. I feel bad wasting the food, but I don't eat it, so. Getting busy around here in Chinatown. Let's cross the road. Oh, but there's like a gate here. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Chinatown, the famous Bangkok Chinatown. And I think I am going to, I'm going to end the video there guys. In the next video, I'm sure you'll be able to see me trying some more delicious uh, food here, but hopefully none of it has chicken, secret chicken, mystery chicken inside. And um, yeah, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.